What is going on guys? Damar is here. Welcome back to part 3 of Jade Empire. Oh my god, it's been a while you guys. It's been like a few weeks since I played this and luckily today in my country it was raining which means cold weather, cold environment in my room. Just like a little bit but as long as I don't sweat while I'm recording I will be fine. Anyways. Um, on the last part, we got our weapon, we had our first official battle, and we saw our sentai destroy an entire ship. So now we're supposed to head back to the school. But first, we have to head back here. In my first playthrough, I think I missed this part. On my second, when I played it again, I was like, damn! extra scenes extra fight I mean because you know you get more XP when you fight them so yeah let's get into it hey boys look who it is is that the one gal the less was always going on about I think so I say we teach a little lesson about staying in your place when when great men like Gao are around Clearly, they are drunk. I'm not looking for a fight. I'll just leave. You're not going anywhere. Gao will give us fat silver bonuses if we teach you a lesson about respect. Time to fight. Living tiger! Long sword! Guys, this is like my second time recording on my on my first recording it didn't capture my microphone I mean my voice wasn't recorded I have no idea why it's been acting up for a few days which is frustrating I mean for a while not for a few days I don't really record that much but when I do it's kind of frustrating I knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village I hope I equal your skill someday could I ask you some questions? Please do not. This is the first task I have been given and I don't want to get distracted. You're just guarding a gate. Um, Guarding the gate doesn't seem like a complicated job. Nah, it would be nice. If you, if you are guarding this gate, let's make sure you know how to defend it. What do you mean? Some sort of test? Ask me anything. I am ready to try. What do you know of Sensei Li? Of his history? Uh, nothing. He is supposed to be a great master, but I just arrived, so I know very little about him. I wish I knew more, senior student, but that is all I can answer about our master. Um, what are the main classifications of style, student? Student? Wait, I know this. Uh, yes. It's Weapon, Martial, Support, Transformation, and Magic. Weapon and Martial styles are pretty self-explanatory. Support styles allow you to paralyze, slow, or otherwise hamper your foes. Magic styles allow you to use your chi to control the elements, while Transformation styles allow you to assume the form of creatures or even demons. I'm only repeating what I have learned in my time here, senior student, but that was one of the first things I memorized. Easy. Um, how does your chi affect combat? Of his history? Uh, it not... I would... Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Chi is our internal magical energy. Is that it? Yes. And we can use our chi to hasten the healing process of superficial wounds. Additionally, Chi can be used to strengthen our blows, making the most of each strike. I'm sure that's right. I can't channel my Chi like you and Dawnstar yet, but one day... Uh, that'll be all student C, Pat. Oh, good. I mean, yes, thank you, senior student, for the chance to answer your questions. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. I have 
of my reasons, you guys, for talking to him, which you guys are gonna find out later in the story. But for now, let's just carry on and let us go see Xiamin, which is another side quest. Hello. Those bandits learned a hard lesson. Master Li is not a man to stand by while the town is attacked. Same with you. When something has to be done, you do it. What can I do to help you? Um, nothing. I just wanted to talk to you. Goodbye. Thanks. Hello. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Um, are, they, are there students available to spar with? Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. It would do them good to work some of that out. It is a shame about Kia Min. She holds the record for the most opponents defeated in my little training challenge. No one can challenge her record while she is injured. I have a little something tucked away for anyone who can best Kia Min's feet. That includes you, of course, but any attempt will have to wait until she is healed. Um, is there any way to cure Kia Min? Her wound was not mortal, but it was severe enough that I will not let her fight as she is. I suppose you could ask her if there's anything you could do to help. Um, let's look at your other sparring options. I can arrange for a little sparring. Are there any special conditions you would like to introduce? I know you prefer a challenge. Again, guys, this is a roll for XP and I want to collect if I am not mistaken. I need some practice against multiple, multiple opponents. Yes, I suppose your fight against the bandits made you want to brush up on this technique. I can arrange for as many as four students to fight you. Uh, two will be enough for this bout. A duo to test their cooperation. Some of the younger students will think you are easy prey in such a situation. Show them the truth. Remember, this is only a practice match. It will continue until you or your opponents are rendered unconscious. Hooray! Let's do this! Very good. Another victory well earned. Now, is there anything else you would like? Oh, I didn't notice whether there was XP just now. Or there was... There wasn't any XP, but... Meh. I should go. Goodbye. Let's talk to Student Lin. To hear Gao tell it, he single-handedly beat back the bandits. But I know you did the lion's share. Too bad I was stuck up here minding the younger students. It would have been great to see Master Li deal with that sorcerer. We so rarely see our master's true abilities in action. What do you need from me? I can't believe I just sneezed. Excuse me, guys. That must be inappropriate. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh. Um, goodbye for now. Stay well. After all. Let's talk to Cameron. Glad to see you're still well. By most reports, you faced down many of those bandits yourself. Impressive, senior student. Most reports? Who disagree? Huh. Who else? Gal the Lesser won't let a chance to glorify himself slip away. To hear Gao's side, he pushed back the bandits. But I know you dealt with the greater share of them. Of course it was best that our master was there to deal with that sorcerer. The stories about their confrontation spread quicker than a plane's fire. Hello, Kamen. You are the hero of the moment. Gao claims that he dealt with hordes of bandits, but everyone else agrees that you turned aside their main attack. It is good that you were here. 
My foolish lack of attention forced Master Lee to come to my rescue and left me with a wound that will take a few weeks to heal. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. Uh, what sort of prize? Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat. And just yesterday, I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. Is there anything I can do to help with your wound? Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Master Lee has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. Um, would this herb heal you quickly enough that you could fight again? I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. Um, I think I know enough about this herb. Maybe. I think so. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb, and if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. It would be worth it to get back to training. Uh, what do you think about Master Lee? Again, you guys, I have my reason that I'm talking to them with more dialogues. Master Lee cares deeply for all of us, despite his stern demeanor. Look how he came to my rescue when the bandit's spell left me wounded. Do you, do you have any idea why someone would be looking for Sensei Lee? I've heard a rumor that the man leading the bandit seemed to know Master Lee, but I really couldn't say why. It's scary to think they came here with a purpose, though. Why don't you ask Master Lee? Uh, goodbye for now. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know. Okie dokie. Side quest! I mean, we see. Oh, by the way, guys, um, do comment down below, like, which character you want me to woo on. It can be a female, it can be a male. I don't mind doing, I don't mind doing either of them because I've tried both of them before, which is pretty cool. But you can't woo them both at the same time, unless if you chose a male character, you can actually woo both the females. Hello. I can't talk to you. She said, "Yeah, Akawayo Kupaya wo took a utro. Was rough no so sit you no go to Napia if I yok." Uh, why are you nervous? Anything I can do to help? Could cause we were ya wo no here if we are oka wiki no. Sorry. Ika kahia wo no ka kike ia wo shathia oka uki ia aya yugi wa. Look at old Ming brushing the beach, I mean sweeping the beach. I would put kuo wo kokopia kawa ia elbo. Uh, is that why you're nervous? I could lend you some silver. Pier shat uk ni uksa ia sun pun no ka hon wo ushashia uksa ia ka. Noko wo ifa we are ok, kun one we pifia. Uh, I could talk to his son about this for you. Ika kahia wo no ka kike ia, wo shafia oka uke ia aya yu ye wa. Kud kosi we were ya, wo no hia ifa we are ok a wiki no. The prize of a small pig, you said. Let me give you the twenty silver. 
wasafno sositu no ko ota napia ifaria ok. Awa utkua wo kokopia kawa ya elbo. Alright, you guys, here is something a little extra in the game. You guys can actually use different types of approaches to them. You can use charm, intimidation, intuition, which you can actually increase the chances of it when you use the gems, which will be received later in the game. But for now, I'm just gonna use my charm on him. I'm sure you'll find some way to repay me eventually. A kone uk noe a kup sa ya sisi ya su ukot. Awa utkua wo kokopia kawa ya elbo. That would make his life a lot easier. Gao's father is not a good man to have angry at you from what I hear. Ya ya. Wo wo ya kukwania sinya ya ya. Almost glowing blue, almost. Niato no napadi irovia, koni ognawa te ir. One of the students was wounded during the bandy attack. Tawe ir koana ir suni ir ipoki. Wuno ir na no ba ir su isara yoyo koni puk no sangkod na no wana napir. Niato no napadi irovia. Koni ognawa te ir. What's the difference between the two grasses? Ir kana, oni kasuri ir kwana no kasa ir iroro. Tasi ir si ir tinto, foni wo 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 si ir wo tahufu. Ipaner no ko iwa ir, ni kasana ir iroro ni nuwa sa ir kana. Thank you for the help. Usair Kokonato, Tanatir, Katanano, Shafatoyo, Kokonato, Siri Panoniko Niato, Nonapadi, Irovir, Kuni Ugnawa de Ir Usair Kokonato, Tanatir, Katanano, Shafatoyo, Kokonato, Siri Panoniko All right, goodbye for now. To go through to us all. Yes, Alright, let's go find the dude, Merchant Fando. Fando? Fando. Which is this guy right here. Those bandits will think twice before threatening a town protected by the likes of Master Lee. They were fools to even come here. The only shame is that their ship sunk. Think what we could have done with their plunder. Ah, oh, well, that's another opportunity lost. In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. That master of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. You don't like Sensei Lee's leadership? I can't say that. He's a wise man who sees to the heart of things. If I were to complain about anything, it's how few students he attracts. A skilled master could bring a lot of people into this town, but he is very selective about who comes. That's his business, I'm sure, but it affects my business as well. Uh, let's talk about what you can do for moi. Happily. We don't need to waste time on my gripes when there's silver to be spent. Um, I'm looking for ingredients for medicine poultice to poultice. Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. Anyway, I've checked my stocks and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Ming suggested red silk grass to cure to cure her wound. 
Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. No. Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. Don't you put your hands on me, old man. <laughs> I'll take the red silk grass. I want her to be able to fight safely. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Um, uh, surely you're not going to charge full price for a human, human, humanitarian cause. Business has been slow. What am I supposed to do? Starve? Discount. Duh. Um... For this one, we're gonna use intuition. How large is your profit on this herb? Large enough to justify this kind of reluctance? You see to the heart of the matter. I suppose I can't risk losing the sale when I have no other stock. So I will knock a few silvers off the price. Hooray! Uh, we, nego we negotiated a discount for red silk grass. Here's 40 silver. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. Uh, goodbye for now. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Sure, sure. Hmm. Just checking around, you guys. Oh, I forgot to talk to Gujin, the master. Whoop whoop whoop. Good job with those ruffians. Those bandits weren't gentle with this town. I'm going to help out with some of the repairs. I'm just glad you two got a chance to try those weapons out for real. Looks like they handled themselves well. Just like you two. Uh, bye. You're right. There's plenty to do. One more, dude. Quite a bit of excitement. Yes, bandits can be tricky opponents. Of course, that didn't stop Gal the Lesser from beating a few of them senseless. That boy enjoys causing pain. They were lucky I had to stay at my post. Yes, lucky. And Master Lee wouldn't like it if I wasn't here to stop the students leaving. Uh, is there anything of interest happening in the village? Why do you need to ask? A bandit attack isn't of enough interest? What else would people talk about? Can I ask you about the Empire? Perhaps one of the villagers can accommodate you. I would rather focus on my job. Two rivers may be remote and calm, but I still take the task of protecting it seriously. Bye. Farewell. I swear, people who have to take care of the gates, I mean protect the gates, they just take their job so seriously, which is good. Do what you want. Do what you want, do what you do. That was the saying that I was looking for. Good thing it popped in my mind. Yamin, yeah, I got your pulty. Hello. This has been a busy day for us all. I have a poultice that should help your wound. The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? 
It costs only my love. Just kidding. Uh, there's no need to repay me. I couldn't just leave you wounded. That's very kind of you. I can't thank you enough. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. Ooh, she's ready. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, time to beat the record. Yo, Smiling Mountain, my dude. What can I do for you? I am here. Can we talk about Kiamin? Min? What is there to say? She tells me that she is feeling much better. If you wish to face her, I will allow it. Hooray! I would like to challenge Kiamin's record. Kiamin says that she is feeling well and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. There's no music. Easy. Well done. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kia Min is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well, despite her earlier injury. Is there anything else you wish at the moment? I should go. Goodbye. Cool. Yo, Kiamin, I beat your record. You fought well, and the record is yours. I'm happy for you, and couldn't care less about the record. It was just good to fight again and feel no pain. I'm a bit... Tender right now, but that's to be expected. I should be in much better shape before long. What can I? Goodbye. All right. That's progress's story. But before that, it's the gal here. Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. Mm -hmm. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. Why didn't you have your men help? I found them drunk of the attack. They deserved a chance to celebrate, in my opinion, so I left them with a few silvers with which to enjoy themselves. They took down a bandit who dared try to circle around me. That's the kind of support I need. Men who watch my back, but don't get in my way. Besides, what's a few bandits to one of my skill? Hardly worth the time. They were a threat to the villagers. I was happy to help. So you are at their beck and call? A service animal for those too weak to protect themselves. That's an endless foolish road to go down. There are always victims, always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone would be begging for your help. Um, this is from somebody nobody wants help from. You are barely welcome here at all. Why should I care? I have little interest in the other students here, and even less for the mud farmers outside. I am here to train, nothing more. You'll soon see what I am capable of. I will make sure of it. I'm done with you. Go talk to your precious master. Training will not resume until he has met with you. I find it weird that he can just simply say that, like, he's literally in front of you. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the spirit cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. 
If you spent less time coddling her, you would have many promising students instead of one. No one is denying your skill, Gao. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If she is truly better than me, let her prove it. I challenge her. If, if that is what you wish, I will accept. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin, of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. He's right in front of you. I am ready now. Let's begin. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! Let's do this! Long sword! It is done. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. No! I'm not finished! Gao, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path. But you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here, despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. Master Li does a lot of confusing things. Yes, yes he does. I didn't want to say, but well, I guess that's why we aren't the master and he is. He must be thinking of bigger things. 
It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. XP! Alright guys, I'm gonna end it off here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I am obviously. So, again, hopefully you guys are having an awesome day no matter where you are, no matter what time it is. And I'll see you guys on the next part. Bye guys!